This is a young white pine. You can tell because of its smooth bark and long needles. Ponderosa, Monterey, and lodgepole pine are known to be toxic. Do not go out and make any kind of wild tea or consume any wild edible without the proper knowledge and research, as some things can be toxic for human consumption. Here are a few benefits of pine needle tea. Pine needle tea is very rich in vitamin C. In fact, it has five times more vitamin C than in lemons. It can bring relief to heart disease, varicose veins, skin complaints, and fatigue. It can help fight illness and infections, and also brings you clarity and mental clearness. It is also high in vitamin A, which can improve eyesight, hair and skin regeneration, and improves red blood cell re reproduction. It can also help with depression, obesity, allergies, and high blood pressure. In some places, it is even believed to help make you live longer. It is also good for sore throats and chest congestion. So what you want to do to uh, make your pine needle tea is first add some water to a, a pot. Then you can either wait for it to start boiling or you can just put your needles in right away. I usually like to crush up my needles a little bit so it will absorb It'll absorb the, uh, the flavor and the nutrients as much as it can. And then I just stick it in there. And put a cover on it. Then I will bring it over to the fire and put it in somewhere. I'll just put it in right there. There we go. It would have been ideal to use a uh, coffee filter for this because there's uh, little uh, needles and stuff in there, but never uh, killed anyone. So I'm just gonna pour this in uh, slowly to a drinkable mug. Try not to let anything get out. There we go. If you can see, I managed to not let any particles, well, there's a little something floating on top, but other than that, there's nothing at the bottom. And you just have to be careful while pouring it and you don't even need a coffee filter. So I'm gonna do a little taste test here to see how it really is. Hopefully it's not uh, too hot right now. The tea had a very mild, bitter taste. It basically tasted like hot water with a bitter tinge to it.
It wasn't my favorite wild tea out there, but I'd definitely make it again. I left out that if you boil the water separately and then add it to the pine needles, that it will leave every nutrient in the tea. When you boil the water with the needles in it, it will take the vitamin C out of the tea, but it is more flavorful that way. Well, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, if you guys want more, just leave a comment and give ideas of what you want to see. I'm open to suggestions because I can't really think of much to put out other than snowshoeing and stuff like this. There's, I don't really have too many ideas, so if you guys have any suggestions or ideas, leave it down in the comments, and uh, don't forget to subscribe and like the video, and see you in the next one. Thank mm -hmm. you.